Welcome back to Iron Wolf Productions. I'm your host Darius Nathan and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make the invisible cloak effect. Let's jump right in. So I know everybody can't be friends with Harry Potter and get the invisible cloak like I can, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do it my way. What you're going to need is a green sheet, a regular blanket, and some editing software. Alright guys, so first things first, let's go ahead and jump in and getting our clean plate. So the clean plate is used so once we do remove the green screen, we know what to put behind the actual green screen or what it was covering up. So that's what we use the clean plate for. So go ahead and set up your camera, get your clean plate, and then let's go ahead and jump into the real effect. Now guys, to get this effect correct, what you're going to want to do is take the green sheet, put it on top of your regular blanket. So when you're holding it over yourself, it'll be the regular blanket and then the green sheet on the outside because the green is what we're going to be taking away. So go ahead, shoot your video however you want to shoot it with the invisibility cloak. And then after that, we're going to bring it over into Premiere. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and make sure you locate where your footage is. I already have mine here. If it'll pop up, it's actually Premiere. There we go. So you see my footage. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my footage into Premiere now. As you guys can see, I didn't get a clean plate. I was going to go ahead and decide to grab my clean plate from my footage itself. Cause I have this extra, actually let me go ahead and bring it up in my source time. Look at that man, beautiful, oh. But up here, up front right here, I have some extra clean space. So I was just gonna use that as my clean um, plate cause it took me some time to put the green suit on or the green sheet. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go set in my in my out points just so I can grab this really quick. In my out. I think I completely missed the timeline. Set that in my timeline. And if you guys didn't get a clean plate, you guys can also do this as well. It's just another easy way, just a quick snippet. And I'm even going to make it 10 times better and create a, or I'm going to insert a frame hold segment, which is pretty much just a, um, a freeze frame. So if you guys know how to do freeze frames in your editorial um, system, pretty much works the same. Go ahead and show you guys how I do it. Delete that. That's still the video clip. Pull this back over and boom, we have just a nice and beautiful picture of the frame that I was on so now that I got that all done I can jump over here and figure out where I want the video to start so I know I want you guys to see my head outside of the cloak I really didn't show the inside of the cloak but the reason we have the inside of the um, the blanket on the inside is so once we move or open up you can see the blanket and that green screen is kind of still covering the outside of it so it gives that effect that effect that the inside you can still see inside of it, you can still see what's inside of it, that's not invisible. So let's go ahead and jump to this part right there. I think it's pretty cool. We can play through it. This is what the footage looks like. I know you don't look really cool while you're doing it, but I promise you it's going to look really cool in the end. I swear. Let's see. Boom. So I think I'm going to stop right there. Maybe even push it back just a little bit further. So I don't have to deal with that door shadow. Yeah, right there is fine. Go ahead and do that. Put your out point. I'm just clicking I and O for in and out. Take that little clip. And we'll place that on top. Now the reason I place that on top is because the green screen, when I'm ready to key that green out, it's going to cut that green out and show what's ever on the bottom. So underneath it is just that blank clip. Remember this one over here? It's just that blank clip. So it's gonna show directly through. So it's gonna match up what's on what's uh, it's gonna match up with what's on top. It's kind of hard talking. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump into the um, the actual effect now. So if we go to our effects control and then go down here to our effects, we're gonna type in Ultra Key. Now I'm in Premiere, so we do have Ultra Key. It may be called something else in your editing software. Um, if you're using DaVinci, um, DaVinci Resolve 16 or 17, or if you're using um, HitFilm Express or their actual studio, serv um, studio software, I know they all have the ability to key. So just find that feature inside of your editing software and go ahead and throw it on there. Now using this little color picker tool, we're gonna go ahead and grab the green color. Boom. Look at that, our effect is already starting to work. So as you can see, this, it's grabbing the green color and showing what's underneath the footage. So it's cutting out that green and then showing the picture underneath. So that's why it looks the same because it's the exact same picture from earlier. That's why you get the clean plate. Alrighty, so now right now we're looking in the composite mode. 
From here, we're going to switch over to the alpha channel. Alpha channel is going to be showing us what's actually happening. So the white is what's being shown and the black is what's being cut off. So as you can see, we want that as pure as black can get and we want this as pure as white can get. So we're going to jump over into our matte generation feature or section over here. And then we have this transparency as our first one. We're gonna go ahead and play with that a little bit. As you can see, this is gonna play with the, the highlights a lot. So we can go ahead and bring that. We don't want it to start affecting the blacks in this part that we wanna get cut out, but we don't wanna see any black in the areas that we do wanna get cut out. See how this has like the black uh, shadow of the door and everything, you can see that. You don't want that. So go ahead and get rid of it, get that as wide as possible without affecting too much of the black. So it's kind of like a little balancing act. Boom, right there, I'm gonna leave it. 46, it may be different for you. Now I'm gonna jump all the way to the bottom. I'm not for sure how you say that, but I know it affects the dark side of everything. So the transparency affected the light and this one's gonna affect the dark. These two make the most drastic changes. So I say mess with these two first and then go ahead and play with your highlights and your shadows and your tolerance. That's gonna be your more finer details. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. So if I move it around, you can see how it's darkening that right there. So go ahead and get that completely dark, 100%. So that allowed me to take it all the way over. You wouldn't really do this if you're just keying somebody out of a green screen instead of wrapping them in a green screen. If they just had a green background, it wouldn't be these dramatic 100% to zero or jumping around. It'll be more of just like a gradient, finding somewhere in between. So now let's go ahead and jump into the shadows and the highlights. If we go over to our composite, you see these white spots right here? Well, this is still the alpha. Looking at the alpha, you see these white highlights right there? Jumping over to the composite, those are shadows. So knowing that, let's jump down to our shadow and play with that a little bit. So if we bring it up, so if we go towards 100%, it's saying we wanna see more of the shadows. If we go to 0%, it's saying we wanna see less of the shadows. But see how that affects our other shadows in our, um, our video? We don't want that either. So let's go ahead and bring that back just a little bit. Right there, perfect. And then let's play with the highlights. Highlights aren't looking too bad. If we bring them up, you can kind of see where the highlights are. Eh. Nothing too crazy. So we can just bring those down zero. You don't want to see any of those. And then we can play with the tolerance. Tolerance does affect it sometimes. So all the way down, you can see it's bringing some of that, some of that back in and we don't want that. So let's bring it all the way over to 100%. You see it darkened it a little bit. Alrighty, so jumping back over into our composite, let's just see how that's starting to look after main, playing with the matte generation. That's starting to look pretty good, guys. Look at this. Our effect is coming together, but you guys notice that little outline it almost looks like a white edge. Okay, you guys are probably wondering what happened with this. So as you can see, the video on the bottom ended. So there's nothing for the um, the clip to show through. So it's just showing a, the black side of the screen and they're saying if there's nothing behind this clip. So if I drag this clip behind it all the way to the end, you can see, oh, okay, we're gonna put that clean plate back behind it. That was a perfect example. I did not mean to do that. Okay, but I wanted to show you guys this guy right here. You see, let's get a good shot of right there. You see that little white edge? I'm gonna zoom in just a bit. This little white edge right here, we can get rid of that. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our matte cleanup, starting at the choke. See, we don't really have to go into the alpha channel for this one. We can stay in the compositing. So go to the choke. And let's play around with this one. You see how it's getting rid of that white edge and kind of even taking some of that shadows away as well. We want to do that. So 100%, like I said, most times would be more of like a gradient. You wouldn't go fully to 100 or zero. This is just working with Green Street. A really easy effect. So let's go ahead and play with the soften a bit. You see how it's taking even more of those shadows out. Beautiful. Contrast, we're gonna have to back up a little bit just to see this one. Let's go back to fit. Now working with the contrast, this is talking about the contrasty parts of the actual color that we're keying out. So if we play around with this a bit, you'll be able to see. See how it's getting rid of those contrasty parts a little bit? So let's go to 100%. Like I said, it's not always like this. You're not always gonna be one in, uh, uh, zero and one or zero and 100. It's gonna be a gradient of all. Now the midpoint, I love the midpoint. Midpoint does so much for us. Check this out. 
Look at that. You can barely see anything now. Now if we go back, now you can see a little bit of everything. This would have been a lot better if I had like a, a green morph suit instead of like a green sheet. But I was doing the cape effect, so you are going to get those shadows. But if you want to do it a lot cleaner, feel free to tighten it up. Use, uh, Make sure it's wrinkle free. That's going to get you the best effect. But this was a quick tutorial. I wanted to kind of get the point across, kind of get the gist across and show you guys how to do it. So let's go ahead and watch this through really quick. Ah. Uh, that's amazing you can kind of see the shadows yeah because I I wouldn't stop moving I had to wrap myself up like a mummy but guys that is the invisible cloak effect thanks for watching boom pow just like that you guys have an amazing invisibility cloak if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and other than that remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and until the next video my name is Darius Nathan, I'm your host, and this is Iron Wolf Productions. See you guys later.